Welcome to this week's weekly update. We were off last week traveling to Idaho Falls to cover the Wind Energy Task Force meetings. And that's where we begin today. The Wind Energy Task Force met last week to discuss the industry and what it means for Idaho. The meetings featured testimony from wind developers, Idaho Power, Idaho Fish and Game, and Representative Eric Simpson, who has been at the forefront of those opposed to the wind energy industry. Also during the meetings, public testimony was heard, mostly from those directly involved in the industry who support it. The issue is fairly complicated, but here are the basics. Proponents argue that the issue should be addressed at the local, county level, and that the state shouldn't have the right to tell private landowners what they can and can't do with their land. Opponents, like Simpson, focus more on the cost of the energy and the massive amounts of subsidies the industry gets. Simpson and those like him say that the industry simply wouldn't exist without subsidies. In other words, the industry is not self-sustaining. We're talking about Obamacare again, specifically the cost of setting up a state health exchange. KPMG, an international accounting and professional services firm, gave testimony to Butch Otter's task force earlier this week telling committee members the cost would be tens of millions of dollars. The estimated cost around $77 million, with recurring operational costs of around $10 million annually. Carol Steckel, who works for the Louisiana Department of Health and Hospitals, told committee members the exchange is not something Louisiana is going to do, saying, We view this law as a one-size-fits-all effort that cannibalizes the private insurance markets. It doesn't work for us here in Louisiana. Sticking with Obamacare, Taryn Bragdon from the Foundation for Government Accountability was in town this week meeting with officials to discuss Medicaid reform. More specifically, the Medicaid reform pilot program in Florida. We've done a report that looking at how much each state would save if they were able to replicate the Medicaid cure results uh, in Florida and in other states. And here in Idaho, those savings could be as high as $400 million a year, state and federal dollars in your Medicaid program. So this is a result that, this is a program rather, that has better results for patients and then at the same time could save taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars a year. Finally this week, Central District Health Department, CDHD, is embarking on a bicycle for health business. In a 45-page document, CDHD lays out its plans for the Boise Bike Share Program. The program calls for 140 bicycles and the establishment of 14 automated bike stations. The stations and bikes would be placed throughout the downtown area and the campus of Boise State. The planned program would cost an estimated $651,000. That's it for this week's weekly update. To stay up to date on important policy news around the state, you can visit our website, check out our Facebook page, or follow us on Twitter at Idaho Reporter. We'll see you next week. Thank you for watching.